Hello and welcome back to another action packed, excited, I'm excited episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And we are having, yes, I'm, I am, I'm excited. You might be able to see him down there, but you see my thumbnail, we're having one of these. Brothers and sisters, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super. Cool review. Yes, Oldham has delivered. Ah, ah. I'm normally the last person on the planet fucking earth to get anything new out of any supermarket, any product anywhere in the fucking galaxy. Now these have just been out. And I think they come out, they stay there for a bit like two days. And I went in my local ice on the store. It's not local to me, it takes me fucking forever to get there and back. And they were there. The hula hoops are still not there. But these were there in abundance. £1.50 a bag. Now, everyone knows Space Raider Crisps. Lou and the kids fucking love them. They're not here. So I'm just going to cook a portion of each of these to try them on video. Uh, and I'll have to put the rest in the freezer and save them for Lou and the kids. Especially the beef ones. I'm looking forward to them. The, the, the uh, pickled onion ones more. No, you can't smell through it, So I'm not going to delve into uh, allergens and stuff like that. Because this is just basic. I want to know what it tastes like. Here's a taste test of such in it, I suppose. Uh, for best results, cut from frozen yam and all that. 200 degrees for 15 20 minutes. I've already got my oven pre eating. Uh, there's nothing. Do you know what? I'm a bit disappointed there's no story on it. I will promise. Basically, it is what it is, isn't it? Space Raiders, barbecue beef, and pickle dungeon. Let's get down here and have a shuffle. So, there they are on the shopping board. And the way I'm going to work this is right, so we've got pickled onion on the right, we've got beef on the left. So let's move these. I'm going to open the pickled onion ones first. If I can. I tell you what, they smell, they smell good. They don't smell as strong as the pickled onion ones do the actual crisps themselves. But there's definitely a pickled onion to, uh, smell there. Listen, I know it's this pan's overkill as well, because I'm only cooking four of each. But I can't find a smaller roasting tin. I have got one, something in the cupboard, I just can't be arsed looking. So that are, uh, them are on our right, the pickled onion. And we're going to go on the left, with the beef. Them smell fucking fabulous. The honest to God, they smell fabulous. One, two, if you can see, there's actually a difference in colour. The pickled onion ones are a bit more browny, a bit more tanned. And these look like uh, albinos, albinos, whatever. Right away, that's four of each, because that's just for me for a taste test. The rest are going in the freezer for the kiddie winks and for Lou. And uh, these are going in the oven for 15 minutes, starting now. Now it's been 15 minutes. That was a second for you guys, wasn't it? And I underestimated the power of my oven. Uh, they're well done. Uh, they smell fantastic, by the way. They don't smell... Now they cook, they don't smell like... Well, them are the... Uh, what are they called? The pickled onion. They don't smell like pickled onion on that side. The beef ones have still got a beefy barbecue, you know, like a, 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 a the beef crisp smell, like the hula hoop beef crisp smell, to be honest. They still retained a bit of smell of that. But I am going to give these a few minutes, well, probably three or four minutes to cool down, and then I'm going to slide them down my gizzard. It's pretty easy to know which one's which. Because the, when the black, they fucked ones of the, the uh, pickled onion and the lighter coloured ones are the beef ones. Now, I was more excited 
about the pickled onion ones. Now, thinking about it, I should have bought some crisps as well. But then again, we know, we know, we all know what space rainy crisps taste like. They smell good, but they don't smell like pickled onion space raiders. But do they taste like it? They're nice. Tiny, 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 minuscule taste of uh, pickled onion uh, spare threads. They're nice, don't get me wrong, I would eat them. But that is disappointing. Uh, the, 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 the crisps burn your face. They're that pickled onion -y. Them aren't. But they are nice, let me just say that, they are nice. And there is the beef one. That smells more like a beef one than the pickled onion one smells like a pickled onion one, if you know what I'm saying. Them beef ones are fucking superb. That's hot, that. Oh. <coughs> the beef ones are superb. The beef ones taste a lot more like the beef Space Raiders than the pickled onion ones tasted like the pickled onion Space Raiders. Both nice, but the beef ones are the fucking best. You know what, in my last statement there, I think we discovered that the pickled onion ones are all right. They don't have much taste of the pickled onion Space Raiders. The beef ones are absolutely fucking superb. They have a really good taste of what the beef Space and onion ones taste like. So if you want, you know what, get the beef ones. The pickled onion ones are okay. They taste alright, they don't taste minging or anything. So at the end of the day, I liked them. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. I'll become a family member of hashtag Team CTB, where I. You got it. I fucking love you.